Hey guys, so this is my first pregnancy vlog. Um, I don't really know what to talk about, but um, I guess I'll just update you guys on like what's going on with me. Um, currently I'm about 15 weeks, so almost four months. Um, and I know pretty soon I'll be able to tell what um, the sex of the baby is. Um, according to my little app, the baby is about the size of an orange, a navel orange. So, getting pretty big. Um, my stomach isn't too big, really. I, I'll add a picture. Um, I just recently took one, I think, yesterday. Um, because I've been keeping track. But, um, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't have any makeup on. Um, I just got back from school, and because I have theater makeup class, we go in with no makeup so that we can get crazy, um, but we just learned about facial hair today, so I'm excited to do that. Um, oh, I guess I can talk about, like, the method that, um, I want to go with. Um, I am very for, like, doing everything natural. Um, I don't want to really do it in a hospital. I don't want any drugs. Um, if I do it in the birthing tub, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, I just really want to do it with a midwife and just natural. Um, I just feel like from what I've heard, from what I've watched, um, thanks to Golda, <laughs> who's not even married, um, but watching the business of being born and then more about the business being born, um, it just really opened my eyes to that. I was never really for the epidural before, but I really n didn't know much about it. Um, so if any of you guys are pregnant or married and planning on having kids, I highly recommend watching that movie. It's by Ricky Lake. It's called The Business of Being Born. And... Yeah, so, um, sorry. Um, something I highly recommend. Um, I think it's a great experience, and I feel like, you know, back in the day, they didn't have all those drugs, and they did it perfectly fine. Like, I don't see, I, I feel like the purpose of it is just to satisfy the woman so that they don't feel anything, but I don't... Like, I want to experience everything. I want to be able to, you know, know what that feels like. I don't want a C-section at all. Like, C-section is, like, the ultimate, ultimate last result. Um, you know, if there's health risks, obviously. But that's something I've always never wanted. Um, and it's crazy to me that people are actually scheduling their C-section so that they can get back in shape for their events or you know just crazy stuff like that like scheduling their births which is just crazy like why do you want to hurry up and get the baby out when like you don't know when the baby's supposed to be born it's supposed to be born early it's supposed to be born late so yeah so I have a lot of you know just uh, strong opinions about what I want to do uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's for everybody it's personally for me <laughs> um, and not saying that I'm not scared um, or nervous about it, but I just think that I'd rather do things the way, like, God created to be. Like, we were made when, as women to carry a child and know how to birth a child. Like, back in the day, they didn't have, you know, doctors. I mean, maybe they did have doctors, but, <laughs> um, you know, they weren't, like, given a medicine and, um, you know, so they didn't feel the pain. Like, they felt everything. And, you know, yeah, that's one of the consequences. We feel those pains, but I feel like it's an experience that only women can go through and for a reason. So, that's my personal opinion. That's the route I'm going. Um... And yes, I will be breastfeeding. Um, I do not want to use formula at all. Um, 
Lord willing, I can breastfeed for as long as possible. Um, I hope that I can breastfeed like the whole whole way, however long it takes. Um, and I actually am looking into um, like making my own baby food as well because I've heard it's really easy and it's really inexpensive and it's just better for the baby and you know they can start eating healthy early so yeah um what else I guess that's all I'll talk about now but yeah just it's very interesting being pregnant I still kind of don't feel <laughs> like I'm really pregnant I mean I know that I am because I've seen the ultrasound um but not being like big I guess it's still early so that's just kind of how you feel um so yeah it's still kind of surreal to me um I'll include a picture of the ultrasound I'll include a picture of how big my belly is and yeah if you guys have any other questions or if you want to know anything specific please let me know um I'm more than happy to share um I'm not really shy about sharing anything so uh yeah I mean obviously if it's gonna be super personal then I probably won't but um yeah so I just wanted to share that with you guys um like I said if you guys have any other questions or you're interested in knowing anything or you're pregnant too and want to share you know what you're going through that's awesome video response or comment like I love that stuff so um let me know um I hope you guys enjoyed and I will try to do another one maybe next week or in two weeks um yeah next week I get to see the midwife so I'm excited about that so maybe I'll ex update you guys on that how that went so all right well that was all I wanted to share with you guys I love you and I hope you enjoyed and like I said any questions or um, stuff you want to know about just let me know all right talk to you guys later bye